ice cream! Don't tell me you're actually going. Are you actually going in the site? That's that's a fantastic. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. How have you been? You okay? You're good? Good. <laughs> we are in uh, Newbury uh, first thing in this video. Um, a place where I've done a lot of deliveries to in the past. Many, many deliveries have been delivered to Newbury by myself. <laughs> um, delivered to that B&Q before when I've done B&Q work, I've delivered to Travis Perkins, I've delivered to Build Base, I've delivered to G... No, I haven't done Juice it's around here. Anyway, I've done a lot of deliveries around Newbury, been in and out of the place quite a lot, and it's uh, it's nice to be back. Nice to be back... Nice to be back <laughs> in a... Um, is it a town? Or a city? I think it's a town. Anyway, it's nice to be back in a town that I've not been to for a while. Um, and the the site that we're on our way to now, just around the corner, is by the Newbury Racetrack. Or race circuit, whatever you want to call it. I think they call it a racetrack. Newbury Racetrack. Um, I've said that a lot now. <laughs> um, so that's where we're going. Uh, and um, I, th this particular site, I've, uh, I'm going to main decay off, it's just annoying otherwise. This particular site I'm going to, uh, I have been there before, but it was actually when I first started working for Earthline, um, and I was I went there with, as in as a passenger, um, with the person that was uh, tra training me up. Like I say that because training, like I already knew how to drive a tip on. <laughs> Just more about knowing the uh, the paperwork side of it is what I need to be taught up on. Um, wonder what that learner was doing then. So yeah, um, I started working for Earthline end of February, so March, April, May, June, July, and then we're uh, we're nearly at the end of August, so pretty much half a year ago, and that half a year has flown, like, it's gone fast. <laughs> um, I didn't think about it until, until I um, handed in my notice and that, and um, people were saying, oh, you changed jobs more times than I've had hot dinners and blah, 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 and I'm like, yeah, I've had, I've had more than a few jobs recently. But I've been here for half a year. Yeah, it's not like it's five minutes. Like you know, been here enough. I'm not the newest guy on the fleet, put it that way. There's one new guy. He's actually right behind me. He's following me. Um, I'm showing him the way. Showing him how it's done. <laughs> no, I thought that was him talking on the CB then, but it wasn't. Yeah, he. Um, yeah, he was with someone else, but they had to go off and do something. So he's just uh, shadowing me gotta learn the routes and that so most roads are the same but never mind but yeah yeah no i've been um been getting a lot of comments of like about how many jobs i've had recently and i, th I not that i have to do this or put them straight or anything but i just wanted to say that hgv career wise i started off on class two worked there for about a year and a half then i got my class one license upgraded um done class one work where's that band doing he's got left with JK and I was there for two and a half years. I left JK at Christmas, six months ago. So I only had two jobs in the HTV world, two jobs, not a lot. And then I left JK because of the uh, the rubbish hours I was doing all throughout the night. Um, and then did some agency work. And I think that's where people are getting confused with all these jobs that I've had, all these jobs. It's agency work is what I did mostly um, at different companies. Um, until I found this job with Earthline. So Earthline is technically only my third like HCV job. And I've said it before, and I say it again, I have no reason to leave Earthline. I was quite happy at Earthline, could quite easily have stayed at Earthline. I had no intentions of leaving. But um, I did, or I am rather, because it's a class one job and it's a family friend and I'm stalling because ice cream! <laughs> ice cream for the workers. Where's he going though? Don't block me in. Don't stop me from going. So yeah, I've had three three HCV jobs and uh, well, I will have I will have had four, but two of them have literally been in the last six months just trying to find my own feet, I guess. 
trying to get comfortable again so yeah less of the uh, oh more jobs on my yacht dinners because if that is the case you must be bloody starving because i've only had four <laughs> right so this is the site it's like at the end of a housing estate as you can see all all the workers have to park up there and then literally walk down something i could probably do with doing myself i suppose but don't tell me you're actually going are you actually going in the site that's that's a fantastic <laughs> imagine getting an ice cream that'd be dusty ice creams because i'm telling you the dust kicks up in here it's 10 miles now mate do the speed limit <laughs> he's actually coming in here that's cool yeah go right because i need to go straight on that is that's pretty cool. <laughs> right, so Digger is in the right hand corner there. You might be able to see him. It's the yellow one. Uh, we're getting loaded with muck and we're taking it to our quarry in Stanford in the Vale. And then once that's done, uh, we actually will be done for the day because this is the last one for today that I'm doing. I'm going to turn right, uh, sorry, turn left and then reverse in from over here. Uh, uh, uh. I think he's just about done. I think that might have been good timing. Oh, look at that for timing. Lovely. Mine on my left, front left, because I'm close to some stuff on the ground. Don't turn too sharp because there's some bins there. And now turn. This digger driver doesn't beep, he just starts loading you. <laughs> he just puts the uh, the bucket down. What's going on here? Yeah, he just, um, this digger driver, he just puts the bucket down. Starts loading you before, like, before beeping. Right, lift the body up. I keep getting asked why I lift the body up. I keep explaining, but I carry on anyway. Uh, I've got an onboard weigher, uh, and um, when you lift the body, it uh, basically balances the weight that's on the body, so uh, it gives me a more accurate reading of how much weight I'm carrying. Don't ask me why, I don't know why. If the body's down, it doesn't give you an accurate reading. So I guess it's done on the weight on the back axles, I don't know. Um, so that's why you lift the body up. You lift it up a little bit and then it tells you. So I've got 6.2 ton in now. He's just gonna put another bucket in. And now I've got 8.2. Yeah, so it's two ton bucket, so. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we are still here. Yeah, we're self-signing this. I was gonna say Steve Stauf signing because his name's Steve, the bloke uh, that we're putting on the ticket. Uh, we put down the time as well. Yeah, 14, 14.45. And uh, we'll, we'll only be here for five minutes. So we put 14.50. I know we're only gonna be here five minutes because uh, like I said, it's, it's actually the last tip of the day for me. Um, so I know exactly how long it's gonna take because uh, this is my fourth one today. And I'm straight on the machine and uh, I'm already at 12 ton now, look. So few more buckets and we'll be done. We've just got to give the uh, the paperwork to him, which isn't actually going directly to him. It's just going under a brick down there. And we'll put our destination into the sat nav, ready to go. Good train look over there. Lovely. And um, build base is literally just over there outside of the train track which i've delivered to loads of times anyway as you can see we got by the way these uh white chocolate twixes are lush <laughs> right 17 turn and what we'll do is on the next bucket we'll uh we'll lower it down so there he is coming on over and that weight's going to go up we will lower the bucket before he's finished putting the bucket in so he knows that's the last one we go and in a second he's gonna be done just gotta 
just to throw the paperwork out there, one sec. Ugh. Cheers, bud. That's my last one, mate, yeah. I won't be coming back. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Ugh. Well, so I say I say I won't be coming back, but you know, if they uh, if the people at the office tell me to come back, then I will be. But I highly doubt it. Right, uh, got to wait for the new guy behind me as well. So I'm just going to sit tight here a sec. Put my sheet on. The world's slowest sheet. <laughs> right, he's just putting his sheet on. Make your boy following us, so we're uh, we're good to go. Yeah, his sheet's on now. Battery on the old uh, microphone is not very high, so I'm hoping it lasts while we get out of this site. If not, the, sig the uh, audio is going to go terrible. <laughs> right, I should be able to get around that. Nice of him to ask. Most people just jump off and like just pretend it's not a problem, but he actually asked. <laughs> Look at the dust coming off of that. It was really bad earlier over there, but it's like, that's where the ice cream was serving. <laughs> All right, out of sight we go. Um, oh, there's the ice cream man. Look, he must have turned around or something or realised it was too dusty. I don't know. So I'm going to turn the aircon down a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's what they should have done earlier, mate. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's really dusty. So, um, yeah, they should have, what he was just saying, they should have um, got that sweeper out earlier on in the day because all the dust just comes out straight out covers all these people's cars and um, like we go slow on the way out of sight to try and not you know make dust but you know can't help it sometimes can't help it sometimes I've decided uh, normally when we come out of here we turn right the roundabout go over the hill and then straight over but I, I want to go past build base for uh, reasons like for, for, for reasons because because I used to go down there so it'd be nice to get it on camera again that's what I want to do doesn't uh, make any difference in terms of time that it takes. Like I said, the uh, the microphone might die before I get there, but never mind. Yeah, we're going to go past Bill Base and Travis Perkins and all those places that I used to deliver to. Happy days. Oh, in case you haven't noticed, you probably have. I had a little shave. <laughs> so I look like I'm like 15 or something for the next few weeks. That's my, my GoPro is now dead, but I was recording the audio. So uh, the audio will now be rubbish. Okay, we are in the quarry. And um, yes, yeah, so we're going to take this load off. Uh, it's actually getting on. It's nearly four o'clock, which uh, for us is quite late, considering we've still got a good half an hour drive back to the yard. Uh, and we might need to get loaded yet as well, so. It's uh, a late one for us, uh, for what we normally do. Personally, it doesn't bother me. I, I'll, have, uh, I'll happily work till later. I'll have to get used to working later, because <laughs> go back to class, won't well, I? So, guarantee I'll be working later than five o'clock. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's gonna be uh, a late one for, uh, for this work. But here we go, with uh, going down into the quarry. To get this off. We get this off as quickly as we can, and then um, I'm going to make a phone call and find out what we're doing. Bumpy, bumpy. Okay, we just need to turn around. And go back. Lovely jubbly. Mm. 
There we go. That one's off. Do, 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 do. There we go. All right. All right. I'm just going to call the office, mate. All right, one sec. Body's going down. Hola. Yeah, so all I need to do now is call the office and then jump out and check the, uh, the tailboard shut, check that it's all clean on the back and then uh, we can go on the public roads. But for this particular part of the video, that is going to be it. Uh, I will see you tomorrow probably, maybe the day after, we'll see where we will uh, continue this vlog. So, see you in a bit. Hello everybody, welcome to day two of this vlog and possibly the last day uh in this vlog as well because today we've got we've got a range of stuff to do today uh three different sites uh and um different pickup points as well yeah different pickup points different sites so uh lots of variety how do you say it variety it's the one word i can't say <laughs> that's where we were the other day up there uh today uh we're currently unloaded we need to go get loaded with tarmac paintings Go on then, you're going to pull out? Yeah. We need to go get loaded with tarmac planings and do a delivery opposite Gable Cross Police Station, which is just here, over this roundabout. I've not done a delivery to here before, but I think I know where the compound is. So, good news is we've got to pass it to go get loaded. So I'm going to have a quick look in a second. Um, hopefully we can find the compound and then on the way back, we'll be able to go straight in. It does sound the paperwork that when we go there, we've got to turn left in and turn left out. Which means I can't turn right from this way anyway, so we will see. But yeah, no, the compound should literally be on the right-hand side somewhere. I can see some work vans in there. I think the entrance is just here after these lights. Well, before these lights. In there, look. I think that's where it is. Oh no, gates are locked. Let's hope those gates are open when we get back. Jesus. If they're not open when we get back, we might be parking on the road, which is not going to be ideal. Never mind. Anyway, let's go Let's go get loaded with the tarmac planings and then make our way back here. Uh, and then we'll uh, tip it off. After that, we then got to go to Blunsdon. Um, I think we're on that all day. So Blunsdon to uh, Chapel Farm, which is literally three minutes around the corner. So there's not a lot of distance today, just backwards and forwards. And then the very last thing, we've got to go to Audi in Swindon and take uh, some muck away from there. Where it's going, I don't know, we will see. But that's the plan for today. Uh, but firstly, we need to go get these tarmac planes. So let's go and I'll see you in a bit. Right, someone just flashed me, don't know who that was. <laughs> someone just flashed me. Right, we're just approaching uh, that first job. So as I said, when we went past earlier, the gates were closed. Uh, fingers crossed they are now open. What time is it? It's quarter to eight, so... Mm, it would have been just after seven o'clock when we passed it earlier. So, unless they don't open to eight o'clock, we'll see. But it specifically says on the paperwork, turn left into sight uh, and turn left out of sight. So if we do... We've got to go up to it anyway to see if it's open. If it's closed, then uh, we're going to have to spin around and then park up uh, around the corner, out of the way. Um, we should be okay. We got um, we got another driver doing it as well. He's actually in front of us, so we'll find out in a sec whether we can uh, we can get in. I might shout him. I might not. I don't know yet. Okay, here we go. So if we can't get in, then we will turn around at the roundabout and then turn right at these traffic lights or left as we are now at these traffic lights. Um, brilliant, all right mate, coming in. Yeah, just heard on the CB, the gates are open. Happy days, but we would have went down there if they weren't. 
So where these red lights are, look, it's um, just after the lights. I'll just set the lights now, mate. Are they uh, got enough room for me in there, yeah? Come on in, I'll just pull forward a bit. Yeah, all right, mate. Be there in about 10 seconds. Yeah, so uh, there we go. <laughs> But then once, once we take this off, we've got to go to um, to Blunsdon. Right. Undo the sheets. Oh, there's loads of room in here, look. <laughs> ah, right, okay, so we've got to wait for someone, have we? Right, so we've got to wait for a supervisor to come apparently. Um, so I'll be back in a bit. Right, just tipping now. The uh, the, <laughs> the bloke in front of me, um, he got here first, but then he got me to tip first, so not very nice of him, but never mind. Do you want to sign the ticket, bud? Yeah. Cheers, mate. Is he tipping in the same place? Yes, mate. Yeah. Uh, just on the bottom, please, mate. Yeah, tip it where I've just tipped it, mate. Cheers, buddy. Thank you very much. There we go, mate. Thank you. All right. Right. <laughs> I don't know whether the bloke that was with me is being serious or not. He was like, he seemed upset that I was tipping before him. Um, he's, not, he's a nice bloke. Um, so hopefully he's not upset with me. You know, I just do as I'm told. He told me to tip. I'm waiting for him anyway. I'm following him. I'm staying behind him for all day, so if not, I ain't cut in front because I've we're to get we're together for the whole day. You see, me and that bloke. So um, because we're together for the whole day and I'm staying behind him, I haven't cut in. But he seemed quite upset that um, <laughs> that I was tipping before him. There we go. Look, that's a good example of uh, what it looks like to be tipped. I wonder if he slams the tailboard. You can see then what I mean by here comes the bang. I'm assuming you can see that all on the dash cam, can you? Yeah, you can. Right, so he's pulling forward now, and then wait for the bang, look. If there is one. Ah, oh, no, he's done it quietly. There's a bang, look. And that's just the tailboard just hitting against the back end and helps it all come out a little bit when it's... Uh, that pie. So yeah, anyway, I need to just check that the uh, it's all clear on the back. Because I haven't checked yet. Good job I did, because there is some stones. Let's clear them off. And uh, we're good to uh, lock it up as well. Excellent. And away we go. Pop my horn and say bye. And uh, where are we going now? We're going to Blunsdon now. All clear.
Excellent. Yeah, so we Yeah, go ahead, mate. What's that? Yeah, yeah, I'm right behind you, bud. He was just asking if I was out. Um, yeah, so we're on our way to Blunsdon now, and uh, I don't know how many runs we've got planned out of Blunsdon. Like I said, where we're picking up and where we're dropping off is literally right next to each other, so, and we're doing it all day, so. It's gonna be a few out there, I think. I think it's gonna be a few, so. It's gonna be a little bit boring doing that all day today, but I'll show you one of them uh, later on during the day, and then after that, well, at the end of the day, we've uh, got to go to Aldi and uh, do something out of there. Has he broken down, has he? I think so. Never mind. Anyway, I'm going to go uh, do some runs and I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> okay, you join me uh, later on in the day. We've done 10 loads now, I think, out of here. <laughs> um, we're just taking our 10th load to um, a place that we've been delivering it to all day. Then we've got to come back. So I'm just trying to get my head around it myself. We've got to come back and then there's been a change of plan. So we were supposed to be going to a different job this afternoon, like last thing before we go back to the yard. But that's been knocked on the head. So um, we're basically just carrying on with this job all day. Uh, and like I said, this is my 10th one now from here. Uh, and I, when I started the cameras just then, I was literally just coming out of the site entrance, and this is how far we've got to go. It's literally just round the corner, um, which is why we've done so many. But uh, when I tip this off in a second here, I've got to go back to site again, which you will see, so you will see the site, don't worry. Uh, and then we've got to take it to uh, our main quarry in Stanford in the Vale. Now, I don't know if I'm coming back to get another one after that or not. Um, we'll have to see. But it's going to be nice to stretch my legs a little bit because <laughs> um, days like this when you're just doing multiple runs backwards and forwards between a short distance it just feels like you're confined do you know what I mean you're not really going anywhere so it'd be quite nice to just get out on the on the dual carriageway and on the, on the A419 and then A420 and just sort of like get some miles under us <laughs> but yeah when I turned the cameras on back there we were literally just coming out of sight um, and we we're just taking it around here now if you've been watching my channel for a while, and I mean like for a while, while when I was doing tarmac, we used to come down here all the time on tarmac um, when all this was building sites, like building it all up <laughs> before it was even completed. So, um, Tadpole Farm, some of you might recognise. Uh, we can make that. There we go. Keep the flow going. So yeah, this is where we're going. It's a it's a Hills's site, I believe, because um, this is going to be the last one. I need to hand all the pink slips in as well. Got a wad load of pink slips that need to be handed in. So that's what we do. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Back up, back up. Remind me of a little biscuit song then. Breathe in, breathe out, hands up, hands down, back up, back up, tell me what you're going to do now. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Bow, 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 bow. There we go, nearly there. There we go, we're at the top. Excellente. Right, let's put that body down. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, th uh, there was a camera cut. You probably noticed. <laughs> that was me uh, undoing my sheet. I thought it'd be quicker. Uh, rather than just waiting for me to undo my sheet, uh, just do it straight away. <laughs> right, so yeah, we've got to hand these pink slips in now. Let's go hand in these tickets.
Hello? Hello? I don't think there's anyone here. Well, one of our overdrivers have left some paperwork there, so I just left it next to his paperwork. Ugh. Yeah, there was no one in there. Never mind, not the end of the world. Paperwork's in. Okay. So yeah, we just go up here and then, and then the site's on the left hand side, which is uh, literally just around the corner. It's not not a long drive at all. I've used a quarter of a tank of fuel today. Normally I'd use well over half a tank. That's how little driving we've done. It's just backwards and forwards multiple times. I'm doing 29 miles an hour. Why are you flashing? <laughs> I'm literally doing 29. Okay, there's one of our other drivers going to straight to Shellingford. Apparently there's been uh, some complaints today about the lorries coming in and out of this place because there's a weight limit. Uh, 18 tonne weight limit. Apparently there's been some complaints by residents. Don't know who complained. Don't know if anyone's done anything wrong. I haven't done anything wrong. The site is just here on the right hand side. Gonna assume I can get in, yeah. It's a little bit tight, not not mega tight. There we go. Ah, jet washing the windows, mate. Clean my truck. <laughs> Here he goes, moving out the way, look. Thank you, mate. I bet we'd get right on their nerves because we've been in and out of this site all day today, backwards and forwards, all of us, and he's trying to get off of a job and he's having to keep moving out of the way for us, so I bet he's I bet he's well annoyed with us. <laughs> I know I would be. What's he doing on the left? Go on, mate. He's swinging something around. <laughs> I can get past him, but I don't know whether uh, he wants me to. There we go. Thank you all. And then we're getting loaded by this digger over here, look. We'll, uh, we'll park up over here out the way, matey boy can get past me, the other truck behind me can still get in. It's got to turn the steering wheel all the way around, hang on, bear with. There we go. Oh, he's done. <sighs> right, we are reversing back onto Zidigar. Wait for the beat. There we go. Break the, break the bit hard then. <laughs> do, 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 do. Put the body up. Excellente. And we put the seat back on because we are good to go as soon as we're loaded. Um, I've had it in the paperwork. You can't see. There's a rock over there. Well, you might be able to see. A bit of white stuff on a rock. Um, that's our paperwork. So uh, we're all good to go as soon as he's finished loading us. Shouldn't take too long. He's not the uh, he's not very slow, so we'll be loaded in no time. And then we'll make our way to Shellingford Quarry. It's still going to take about half an hour to get there, and it's uh, five to two now. So um, yeah, by the time we're loaded. We put our sheet on, we make our way there, it'll be our pass. By the time we go tip and make sure it's all clean and ready to go, then, uh, yeah, it'll be about quarter to three, I reckon. Make the phone call and find out what we've got to do. Probably got to go get reloaded or something from somewhere. 
maybe do a couple of runs from one quarry to another, very close quarries, and then go home. But we, we will see, we will see. Yeah, unfortunately, um, I was looking forward to going to the Audi one. Don't know why, <laughs> just somewhere different. So, good. It is what it is. So, in this video, you've seen one from yesterday, or the day, I think it was actually the day before. Um, and then you've seen this site. So, what I'll probably do is tomorrow, um, record a little bit uh, for a different job, if it is a different job. In which case, if it isn't a different job, this will be it. <laughs> one of our drivers going now. What's he? He left ages ago. He's <laughs> just leaving. Yeah, one more bucket and we'll be done. We'll put this bucket down as soon as he uh, spins round and he can see us. There we go. Lock it down. Hopefully we've seen it. He has. He's now tidying it up. Thank you. Go over these bumps. Ugh. You really got to put your foot down out of them, or you just won't go anywhere. Why are you spinning, spinning around? My camera system here, the screen is spinning around very easy. Just, yeah, just tightening it up. Right, let's put the sheet on. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm glad I'm getting out of this site. <laughs> like, this is the 11th time I've got loaded out of here today. 11 times. Oh. And each time it's just gone just round the corner. So uh, it'd be nice to uh, go somewhere else for a change. The job I was supposed to be doing in Audi, I was only just round the corner as well. So it was just, it was going to be one of those days today where everything's just near each other. All right, what's the digger doing? Is, is he stopping or is he cooking? Yeah. I'm just cautious around other diggers because I have had it, I have had it. I've caught it in a video where a digger's just swung out without looking. Like, I'm on the main road and he's just swung out. Um, there wasn't an accident, I stopped, he saw me. Um, so he stopped sort of halfway and I saw him, so I stopped before he could even get me. But it was just the fact that he swung out all of a sudden. So, I try to get a thumbs up every time. But it's not always the case. Got some tarmac being delivered there, look. It's a big house. <laughs> Bet they love all the, uh, the construction works on their back garden. Not. Right, so for the first time today, I get to turn left out of here, not right. This is where you saw me earlier. So like I said, we're literally just outside. Yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> it's good to be uh, going a different way. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to go onto the A419. Uh, that will join up onto the A420. Uh, and we'll take that route all the way to Shellingford. So yeah, that's that's been today. Um, if there is more footage to come, then I'll skip to that now. But. If there isn't, then uh, unfortunately this is going to be the end of the video, so uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm just going to make sure it's clear to go. Yeah, you're in again. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. Um, thank you very much for liking, or disliking, <laughs> and commenting, and subscribing. And uh, yeah, until next time, drive safe, I will see you soon. And, uh, Hopefully the next video will uh, we'll have some more sights in them. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.